Just waiting for that sound. Nothing. Ah, oh, there it is. And it still made me jump. Oh my god. I don't think it will ever not make me jump. I was even prepared for it then and everything. Oh my god. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Scum. So in the previous episode... <laughs> I'm going to have to make some room. Let's stack these up. In the previous episode, we discovered the survivor camp. Now, while I was chopping down a tree this morning, I can report back to you guys, I absolutely heard somebody inside of there. At least one person opening or closing the door. So the plan is to loot a little bit more, see if we can find ourselves a jerry can or some extra loot, and then work our way in, see if we can get comfortable. If somebody's going to be in there, that's another story entirely. We'll deal with that when we get to it, but that's the plan for today. Right, another padlock. See, I do want to use these, but... I'd much prefer to use the compound bow, and considering I've got a crossbow, I think we're going to stick with that for now. I should probably just stack all these together right now. I put How many can you stack at a time, is it? Seven? Must be. Okay, it's not taking up any space either. We'll hold on to the padlock too. Anything that I can use, again, if anybody needs anything that's in there, I might be able to, uh, to bargain with them so I can stay in. Because we saw the tents outside where we're staying right now. I don't know if they're letting people in. All right, we seem okay. <laughs> I'm kind of holding my breath when I come to these locations now, just in case like, I see a car or sign of somebody being there. Bring up that sledgehammer. Got a few close calls in these places. There's one. That one's definitely a fast one, and there's one behind it too. There we go. And here's the last one. Nice. Gotta make sure that I'm checking this a lot more often too, like the uh, the junk or the rubbish. Because there could be stuff that's left behind that I could really use. What is that? Chocolate cake candy. Oh, check the taste. And eat. I know a few people have mentioned that, but you know when you check the taste? When you're in your, like, inventory like this, you have to close it in order to see that on the left, like this side here. That is a little bit of a pain. That'd be the one criticism I have of Scum right now. What could you use vegetable oil for? Is that just a hat? Ah, let's wear it. What do we look like? Does it kind of fit? Oh yeah, it kind of works. It's got the, uh, roughly the same colours as the actual shirt that we're using. Do you know what? I don't know if I like this stab proof vest. And to be honest, if I get into a fight with someone, they're most probably going to have a weapon. I mean, I don't know if this provides any help against weapons, but... Looks over, over safety, right? <laughs> I know that's really stupid, but... Oh, hello. Get rid of you real quick. But yeah, I don't know. Every time I see the vest, I'm just like, oh, should we just get rid of it? I guess the one bonus is the vest might be a little bit heavy, so it can be a bit lighter on our toes. And it frees up the, uh, the arms and the chest area a little bit. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just trying to make up any excuse to not wear the vest. All right. So this place was a bit of a bust. I mean, unless you like yoga pants, which I'm absolutely not going to be wearing. I only go as far as the sexy jean shorts. No yoga pants for me. Really hoping for a pistol right now, just so I've got a sidearm. I thought I'd be all right with the sledgehammer, but yeah, kind of at that point now. Oh, there we go. There's another one of those. 30-06 ammunition box. I found one of these over in the, uh, in the mining area. Don't really have a lot of space for it right now. I'm going to have to shift some couple of items around in order to make space for it, but... I think we should probably take that with us. I mean, again, I, a worst case scenario, I can trade this. Or I can trade up with it. Inside of there, if there is a trader in there. Ooh! All right, we got a vehicle out front of the survivor camp. What are they doing? That's somebody new, isn't it? I think they're trying to get the attention of anybody that might be inside. I want to get on the road so they don't hear my footsteps creeping up on them. Want to be nice and friendly as well. Make myself big, nice and loud. I think they might have gone inside. Oh, no, no, they didn't. 
He's up there. Is he checking the fences or is he trying to break in? I wonder if his vehicle's locked up. Now, with this character... I'm going to question people a lot. Like, I'm going to have a lot of trust issues with this guy. I think he may have seen us. Wave. Not waving back. I would absolutely wave back. Otherwise, that truck is mine. Hey man, I was just gonna borrow it. Just borrow it, huh? <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Do you live in that place? No, no, no. I don't live in that place at all. I was just traveling by and I, uh, I noticed it was a. Oh, you're a new camp. guy like me. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm new. What's your name? Toothy. Nice to meet you, Toothy. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. Where have How's you come going? from? Oh, I came from uh, Sector Z2. Z2? Oh, he's come from this all, way. All then. the way down south. Oh, uh, okay. I came from Sector B3. When did you get here? Just today? I literally just arrived. Uh, ah, yeah, okay. Arrived so I've, I've been here a day before you then. I, ha I have heard somebody inside there, but I've been too scared to go inside because I don't want to catch anybody off guard and then get my head blasted <laughs> I just, off. I literally just came out of there. It was kind of scary. Have you got a weapon on you or anything? I'm going to be completely honest. I have uh, a crossbow and a sledgehammer, but I don't have anything like a sidearm or anything like that. I've got a sidearm, but I've got a sledgehammer too. <laughs> you do? All right. Well, here's the yeah. thing. I don't know like how free you are for time. I don't know if you've got any plans or anything. I need a bit of help if you want to tag along. Yeah. I mean, I'm down. I have a question for you, though. Do you have any idea yes. of where any gas stations are? Because I have no idea where they are around this area. Oh, the... I think it's here. I think it's there. Might not be though. I'm trying to think. Um, I think there might be one up at B4. B4. There might be one there. I have a uh, a gas canister as well. Oh, you do. All right. Okay. Yeah. I need to find one of those because I had to ditch my uh, my truck uh, quite a while away before the uh, previous town. So I don't know if you want to help, but I'm looking for a jerry can and gas and a weapon and everything and all the things. So. Do you want to tag yeah, along? everything and all the things. <laughs> nice. All right. Do you want to head? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to head back into the northern section of A4. If you can get me there, then I can get my vehicle back, and I can at least move it down so it's in sight. Do you want to do that, and I can check on it too? Yeah, can do. Cool. All right. We got ourselves a friend. We're about to. <laughs> if you head back, just basically follow this road. I think it's this way. Straight on. Yeah, follow, if you stay on this main road all the way back into the town, that should take you yeah. into the area where I've parked up, and I, I can get it from there. Okay. So he said there's there might be a, a gas station here. Oh, did he say B? I can't remember where he said it. Either way, if he knows of a gas station, that's going to be huge for us, because then we can, you know, fuel the car up, hopefully find a jerry can, and then we're golden. I'm so lucky that he was friendly as well. <laughs> the fact that I grabbed the uh, <laughs> grabbed the truck. I didn't want to drive off in case it killed him, but he could have easily shot first. That was a bit of a leap of faith. Anywhere down past the uh, the store here is perfect. This guy seems really friendly. Oh yeah, I think he's been through here as well. You do. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. It's just up in the uh, in the trees. I'm gonna check the fuel. I'll be back in five if you uh, if you want to stick around. Yeah, I'll stay here. Well, that's a little bit of a test because I don't know if he's actually gonna follow us. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna follow the road this way, and then we'll see what he does. I'm gonna head up into the trees. I mean, you guys know where we've parked, but 
I'd rather him not know. If we get attacked by him, that's my getaway car. <laughs> and I don't want him getting the jump on us, so... Let's just keep going this way. And it should be, if I remember right, it's like here. I, I, it might be up here. I know it's a fair distance away. There we go. He's moving. All right, let's break line of sight. Behind these trees a little bit. All right, let's get moving. There we go, we can go straight up now. Yeah, he seemed really friendly and... I mean, he didn't have to give me a ride into the town. He could have absolutely held me up there, because I think he said he had a weapon as well as a sledgehammer, if I heard that right. Okay, I think I'm coming up to the clearing. And we should be seeing the tree stand... Like, right about now. Oh, there we go, there it is, okay. My heart sank for a second. I thought it was in the wrong spot. It's oh, there we go. It's right here. <laughs> okay, I thought it was further up that way. Nice. So I'm going to drive this down to him. If he's still there, I'm pretty confident that I can trust this guy. If he's not, then we got to worry a little bit because he could be posted on the top of a building. All right, please start. Oh, the battery's dead. Come on, come on. Oh, we got it. Oh my God, that was the smallest amount of life left in the battery as well. Let's get down. Come on. I want to try and get it on the main road. I'm, again, this is all about building trust with this guy. If I've said I've gone off to get a vehicle and I come back without a vehicle, he's going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> Where did you go just now? Did you go to get a weapon that you stashed? Oh, those gear changes, though. Oh, boy. All right. Let's head straight down this way. As long as I'm driving, I'm charging that battery, but we have nothing in terms of fuel. So I'm going to have to follow this guy as long as I can to see if we can find a gas station. That doesn't sound too good, dude. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not doing so well, and I'm basically running on fumes. Do you know where the gas station is? I think it's just up this road. I believe. I could be very wrong. All right, cool. Do you want me... Uh, is it cool if I follow you then and you lead the way? Because I'm going to break down in front of you and going to rear end. Currently. How much gas have you got currently? Uh, like I say, I'm running on fumes next to nothing. Okay, hold on. I do have this. I think there's six uses of this yet left. If you want to fill it up just for now, just to get you there. I don't, I don't want to sound like... I'm, uh, I'm asking for much, but do you mind fueling it? Because my battery's low, too. If I get out, I might not get it started again. <laughs> uh, it's locked currently. Oh, that's really unfortunate then, isn't it? Then we've got to gamble that the battery isn't going to break. <laughs> also, could I ask you something in return, if that's okay? Absolutely, name it. Do you have any food on you? Uh, let me look. This guy actually has gas on him. Of course I'm going to give him some food. I don't have any food. Oh, <gasps> no. Uh, I can't trade him any food. Uh, I'm, I'm no food, no food. But if you give me a second, I can, uh, I can find you the best grubs in town. How about that? Do you know what? That sounds perfect. Perfect. Are you fueling your truck up? No, I was taking some of my fuel to fill yours up. Oh, look at you. All right, give me a second. I'm going to get you the best. The best you. fucking bugs oh, wait, wait, you've wait, ever wait, wait, wait. eaten. Yes. Can you unlock your car, please? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's <laughs> fuel up and we'll, we'll head down and we'll get some food together then. It'll just save yeah, time. Sounds good. Uh, you're a hero. Thanks, man. Start, you son of a bitch. I really hope it starts. Starts. We're yes. good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> All right, well, the good news is we got a little bit of fuel now. The battery will charge the more we drive. Okay, yeah, his truck is fast. Either that or he's, uh, he's been driving for a long time and he knows his way around here because <laughs> our gear shifts and <laughs> they're not sounding too good. I'll be completely honest. But yeah, the more, uh, the more we put on this, the more the battery fills up. And if we can get to a gas station, oh, that will be so good. 
because then we've got all the space in the back of the car for storage. I really want to find this guy some food as well to kind of return the favor, you know? I think that's only fair. Don't do this to me now. There we go. Come on. Come on. She's really struggling. There we go. Turns out he did say B4. And I've just realized that this area has quite a few docks. So those fuel pumps for the boats and stuff. Yeah, I'm good, dude. I'm good. She's really struggling, though. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> There's going to be a bunch of zombies in here as well. Yeah, I'll try and keep him off you six. Get rid of this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a few. There's a few. I'm going to go straight down, dude, and turn around. There's a few following us. This actually might not be a real bad spot to loop, to be honest. Oh, there you go. I hate those ones too. You guys know that. <laughs> They're the creepiest ones. Gotta be really careful that I don't stall this thing with the battery the way it is. In fact, let's just keep that on. All right, it's looking a little bit better now. Don't know if that clipped him. Let's get these two. Oh, there we go. Putting it a little bit close. <laughs> We're just skittling the zombies right now. <laughs> How to have fun in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> it's just like this. Let's see if I can squeeze. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, that's so dicey doing that. There we go. God, there's so many here. As you can imagine, though, like... This is a fairly big city and the amount of people that would have turned around here. There we go. <laughs> this street is just littered with them. There we go. There's another one. And the battery's doing good. Feels a little bit lower, but once we get rid of these, we can fuel everything up. I'm going to spin this around, then I'm going to get out. I'm absolutely destroying this gearbox. <laughs> you can hear the torture that this thing's going through. When we did this once, so let's not mess it up. Oh, don't do that. Oh, it almost fell off the side. I cut that way too close. Yeah, he does have a pistol. I don't know what that sounded like. There's a hell of a crack to it. I don't know what caliber it was. Right, I'll just pull it up here. I might have alerted them all. Is there a few more coming? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, you hear that? You may want to get back in your car. Oh, behind you. Get in, get in, get in. When they corner you like that. Okay, we're taking some hits. We're taking some hits. Holy shit. They slapped the hell out of me then. Do you see all those on the uh, on the side? No, I can't get eyes on at the minute. How many are there? Oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, get him. Oh, God, get him. Oh, oh no, I've run out. Oh, oh no, my God, what have you done? Oh, no. Abandon oh, all hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have to. We're going to have to. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm looking. Behind you, behind you, behind oh you. Oh my god! I really need to heal. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I've got to heal, dude. Yep. How are you looking? Are you hurt? Uh, I'm fine. That went horrendous. The C4 wouldn't explode. Yeah, I saw you. Uh, I saw you nail it with a few shots. How much ammunition do you have left? I have no more. Oh shit! Oh wait. Actually, I think I have an M19 in my truck. What is it? What ammunition do you currently need? I've got 45, and I've also got 30 out six. If you need it, I've got nine mil too. Uh, 
I need not know. All right, here you go, dude. Here you go. I uh, have all of that and do what you can with it. 16 rounds, I think I gave you. You can get a clean shot on a few of them from that balcony if you want to use that. Let me make a suppressor for him. I mean, this benefits us both, so. Do you have eyes on the beeper anywhere? Um, I don't think so. It might have fallen into the water, if I'm honest. There you go, dude. I don't know if you want to use that. Throw it on your uh, You're a star. M9. It's going to help us out a bit. Oh, we got a lot in the trees here. A lot in the trees. Be careful. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. He's got to get headshots. Oh, they're going to come in fast. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm not doing too bad. I'm not limping, so come on, big guy. Oh, we're straight for him. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you see that? Oh yeah. Uh, your friend is still oh, over there on the duck. Point. If you want to try and try and get that that sweet spot. There we go. Nice. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. I think we're okay. Ammunition. Sights. I literally have no need for the ammunition right now, so we're just going to keep the essentials on us. I'm sure I don't have any food. Did I lie to him? No, I didn't lie. Definitely don't have any food. Oh, it's a bird. I thought one of those things was crawling out from under the the, uh, the car, the burnt out car. Oh, I see it. Oh, that would be horrendous. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to see if I could, like, squeeze my 4x4 down there. What do you think? Do you think it's a little bit too dicey doing that, or...? It would be very dicey, yeah. You still need food, right? Is there a, is there a supermarket yeah. or anything around here? I'll tell you what, let me look for a store. Oh, there is one. There is? It's right there. Yeah, literally straight in front of us. It's kind of useful. Right, I'll have a look while you uh, go and do that. Thank you. Problem with what I've just said... ...is I'm trying to be nice and return the favor. Because we got caught in the suck then. But this dude's helped me out. And, I mean, dog food is better than no food, right? <laughs> In this scenario, it is. Slavic Gent. You want to impress someone with your awesome tasting drinks? Well, wrong drink, buddy, but after a few of those, no one will care anyway. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if this guy is up for that. We could try it. T-shirt, some sugar. A pumpkin. Let's check the taste. Slightly off. I think that's edible. What else do we got? Nothing. Nothing. I always hope that there's ice creams in here. You know? <laughs> like, I'm always hoping in the back of my brain, I'm like, oh, I'm going to find an ice cream one day. <laughs> I think they're in the game. Oh, you're eating that straight up like that. Oh, my God. That's a fast oh, way yeah. of getting diabetes. Here you go, dude. <laughs> I oh, also found something you. else for you. I don't know how adventurous you're feeling. I don't know how long you've been here, and I don't know how much the sun's fried your brain, but I found this drink. Do what you want with it. I, uh, Slavic gent. I don't drink. Otherwise, I'd absolutely give that a go. Oh my what? god, he's drank it. Let me see how that is. Whatever happens, it is not my fault. No, 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 that's all me. I'm, uh, I'm going to go swim over if you want to come over. A bunker? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see the back of it there. If you, uh, if you just squint your oh, eyes a little bit. It. The left side. I'm, um, I'm going to head over there. You going to swim over? Uh, well, I don't see a boat anywhere. Unless you, uh, unless you found one. Oh, actually, you know what? Is there one over there? I was just about to say, could we uh, search the shore? There wasn't at the uh, the dock, right? When you uh, fueled the jerry can? No, I don't believe so. 
Now the question is, is it worth it? Uh, I mean, for me, it might be. But I need to go now before it gets cold because the temperature is about to plummet. So, okay, I'm going. Oh my god, that's pitch black. It's gone. Keep an eye out. You can. Yeah, yeah. That is one How's hell of a view. Say that again. How's your stamina? I'm good. I've still got plenty left in the tank. 40%. I mean, I'm really, really good at <laughs> we, we can slow it down a little bit once we see the, uh, once we get a bit closer. Thought I just heard splashing. We're almost there. If we need to, because it's so hard to see in the water, we'll make a campfire and just sit out for a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I was just about to say, you did bring that hacksaw, didn't you? The, uh... Oh yeah, my yeah. my god. I just thought about something as well. What did you think about? What if the guns are too heavy to bring back and you sink? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll, um... We'll crash that bridge when we get to it. Oh! Oh my god! Swim! You okay? No! I'm bleeding! Ah! Oh my god, why is it? Whatever. Uh, I took the gamble of going across to the bunker because I had all at 30 or 6. And <laughs> it did not pay off. Those waters are filled with sharks. And we didn't even see it. What's the worst thing about that was we didn't even see it coming. Like, it just had us. I did say that if we were to lose John... I'm heartbroken, by the way, that we lost him, but if we were to lose John, then I would come to you guys for a name of a new character and a background story, because that's what we're doing from now on. I saw a bunch of you guys leaving suggestions on the first episode, so I'm going to go back there, check them out, and I'll check this episode's comments out too. So, if you guys want to leave a name for a new character and a backstory, I'll be sure to check it out, the best one we'll go with. But for now, guys, as always, we are going to end it here. So if you are enjoying Scum, drop a like below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>